Hey everyone! So today we're going to do a 16 by 20 oval and I want to do a dirty pour. So I want to use um, some blue, some oceany feel to this painting and I'm just going to place color where I feel it needs to be laid next to each other. So I'm going to be using some 7 ounce cups and I probably won't fill them all the way. I'm going to move this back. And my colors, I'll tell you what colors they are as I go along. But I am going to spray these first. This helps to release the paint from the cup. And it makes cleaning your cups much easier. And that's the WD-40 in the black can. Okay. So I am going to start with some white. This is Creative Inspirations Titanium White. And it does have silicone. All these colors have silicone that are in the bottle. So I'm going to go right in this order, I guess, and go with Lucas Turquoise. And then I'll do the Artist Loft um, Iridescent Medium. This is mixed with Grumbacher Prussian Blue. That'll contrast that white in that turquoise. And then we'll go with the Grumbacher Turquoise Green. So those two darker colors will be a beautiful contrast. And then I'm going to use Craftsmart Champagne Pearl. Lucas Indigo. Just a little bit. Deco Art Peacock Pearl. And Soho Manganese Blue. So I'm going to do a tiny layer of white. Then I'm going to go back the opposite way. So we'll do a little more manganese blue, peacock pearl, Lucas indigo, champagne pearl. Grumbacher Turquoise Green. Prussian Blue mixed with Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. Lucas Turquoise. And on this white, I'm going to do a tiny bit and shove it down. So we don't want it real dark. And that should be plenty of paint for sure. I'm going to push these over. And we're going to start pouring. No rhyme or reason. I just pour. We may not even use all the paint. Wish we get more of that uh, contrast. We did get a nice puddle there. And I think I'm going to come this way so it'll show up here. It's 
pretty colors together for sure. Let me give it a quick torch and get our bubbles popped. And we'll start tilting. So what I like to do is just run it around and try to get it all to connect before I start taking too much off and get all my paint together so it's all moving the same. I'm going to take that edge off right there. I like to do some rocking. That helps get the paint together as well. I hated to lose that little bit of white I had there. Come over on this side. Okay. I think I have everything covered. Let me turn it around. <laughs> wipe my hands and we'll start torching to see if we can bring up some cells in some of those bands but I do love the way that went through so I'll do a quick one to get the bubbles and then we'll start fishing So while you're here, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. We're always putting some new things up. Love to try new techniques. Cells coming up through that white. Not here though, but it may change as it's drying. But I don't mind them being empty bands. a little bit so I may get some more but I did have a little caterpillar come up there <laughs> he's kind of cute actually I have one stubborn air bubble there and it comes back there we go didn't want to pop So click like and share, leave a comment, join us on Facebook, our group The Parage Posse, and also my Christina Welch art page is there. Shop with us on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. Check out Etsy for some paintings and our jewelry that we use the acrylic skins for. And I also have sterling silver jewelry in there as well. Very pretty. Very interesting, and I have some beautiful runoff for skins. If you'd like to sponsor our channel, that link is below as well. It's a PayPal link. Um, Stone Coat Countertops um, Art Coat Resin Code is below. You'll get $10 off a $95 order. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.